I have a couple of days and I'm gonna spend them with uncle. set out to an anchorage, planning to stay there for a couple of nights. I enjoyed a nice dinner in the cockpit and watched the sunset with a glass of wine. Cheers! Then I tried my skills on my new ukulele. And then Change of plans, I decided to take off to Anhol on night, night sailing, a friend is sailing there tonight also and I thought yeah why not, why not, let's do it. So I put the mainsail, we're doing 4.2 in the channel now until we get out, it should be a peaceful sailing, I think it should be around 10 maybe 12 knots of wind and I'm gonna have the wind behind me, pushing me. I should be there around 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. I'll be doing 4.5, 4.7 with the main sail only and now I took the head sail also up on the other side, wing on wing but um, I should put the pole, the whiskey pole but uh, I don't want to bother with that now, now so um, I will leave it up for a while and then I'm gonna change my course just slightly to starboard and maybe it's gonna help soon otherwise I will just take it in again morning. <laughs> We've been sailing for almost five hours. It's four o'clock in the morning and the sun is about to come now out there. I'm going with the motor for the last hour because uh, the wind died down a bit. So I still have the main sail up and the expectation of a little more wind later on, I don't know. I may have to take it down anyway. But it's been going good and uh, we're going forward. Yeah. I've been taking small naps now and then and uh, keep an eye. But it has been quiet around here. I only saw one ship. Sunrise, the sun just came up from the horizon. Beautiful. Arriving at Anhold Island, 
in a little half hour or something. Um, exciting to see how many boats there are in there because I'm used to come here off season. I can already see many, many boats sailing out from the harbor, which is good. And this is what is good to do, to come to the harbor, to come to the island early in the morning when uh, many people are leaving, so you can find them space. And the sun is shining, yeah. Just enter the harbor and from the masts I see, I can see from here, it doesn't look to be very busy and it's expectable because at least 20 boats left this morning, maybe 30. So I arrived, I arrived in Anhol and I'm laying here. Uh, this is not the uh, Anhalt I know. I'm used to come to Anhalt when it's very peaceful and quiet. Uh, I know here is a high season in July, so many people. At one way it's uh, cozy, but of course I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a person, I'm a sailor that I like to sail in quiet places. But uh, I've been also here a few times where there is a lot of people in the high season so okay it's fine it's a uh, cozy the time is 1 30 afternoon and i'm going to have breakfast just now The island was bursting with life, especially after the ferry arrived. Here comes the ferry. It connects the, the mainland with the island once a day. And as the day was getting tired and the sun about to set, people were having good time, barbecuing, having some drinks and enjoying time by the sea, ready to watch the sunset. Good morning from beautiful Anholt. Beautiful weather here, sunshine again. I got a bit late. I was up at four o'clock in the morning to help the boat next to me to move out. They were sailing early in the morning. Then I went to bed again. Now it's 10, 10 30 or something. And I'm gonna get ready to leave because tomorrow is gonna be headwinds and uh, increasing headwinds tomorrow. So I decided to leave today already. And um, so I have to get out and uh, put some diesel in the tank and get ready. Here is beautiful alcohol. A 
Great Dane is an old long keel boat and it is close to impossible to steer the boat on reverse unless you manage to gain some speed. So as I was coming out from my sleep, I was planning to turn around and leave forward. But somehow the boat kept going backwards on the direction I wanted it to go. So afterwards I managed to gain some speed and slowly, slowly I managed to pull out all the way from the corridor in reverse. It is really, really hard to leave this place. Really, really hard. Because I really love Anhold Island. on my way it's a little bumpy tour this one I'm going with the engine 2000 RPMs and I have the main sail up also I can just just have it just to support a little the boat and balance and steady uh, we're sailing very very much close to the wind I mean um, without the engine I wouldn't be able to keep this course so um, let's see how it's gonna go but it's gonna be a little bumpy uh, we have small waves now but uh, because we're doing a speed around 4.5 so we are jumping from wave to wave sometimes it's always sad to leave unhaul so i hope i'll be here again in a month or two uh, the weather is fantastic for the moment i'm with shorts and t-shirt um, yeah, the trip is going to take at least nine hours, maybe a little more. Because uh, I, I can go faster, I cannot go faster. As, uh, it will be very uncomfortable and not good for the boat, so it's pumping into the waves. So we're going to settle with a four, 4.5 knots for the moment. The wind should change slightly direction later on. Uh, so maybe we can sail or we we'll see takes it as it comes but uh, I was supposed to stay tomorrow as well until tomorrow as well but tomorrow is gonna blow up from the west that means on my face and it's gonna blow up a lot in the afternoon so I'm choosing to go home today it's much easier so it's gonna be a nice trip anyway Half hours, 17 nautical miles, 26 to go. Uh, the wind dropped down a little. It was light wind anyway, but now the seas are pretty much more or less kind of flat, and uh, so we don't have the same bumpy ride like we had in the very beginning. Uh, still nice sunshine. I can see the coast down south at Greno, Juasland. I can see the wind turbines. I can still see Anhold on the back. Uh, forward looks to be looks a little gray and dark. Probably the coastline on the mainland is cloudy. I don't know. So, but we're doing a speed of uh, close to five knots. So everything's fine, it's beautiful out here. Enjoying the sounds. Yeah, when I'm sitting here on the bow, you know, I don't hear the engine so much because we're going with the engine and uh, still the mainsail. It provides a little balance to the boat. So all is good. 
and it's really enjoyable um, enjoying the trip. traveling here and it's getting gray out there the more we come near the coast it's getting more gray and chilly we are doing just over five knots of speed and we have something like a what one hour and a half to go. No, sorry, two and a half hours. Wow, still, yeah. So, um, yeah, something like the 13 uh, nautical miles to go. And it's getting chilly. I need to put the jacket soon. Approaching the entrance of uh, the Linfjord. It really got dark here now, cloudy, and there is a ship coming out from the Linfjord. And it's chilly. <laughs> it's summer in Denmark. I'm here in the harbor now, 44.1 nautical miles, eight and a half hours. Uh, it was an enjoyable trip again. Thanks for watching. If you want to get notifications every time I upload a video, you can uh, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do as you wish. Thanks for watching. Bye.